Hey, this is Chris with SearchAnyway.com. Uh, I want to talk to you for a second about uh, banner blindness. I came across this image on the Three Minds blog just yesterday. Uh, I'm either going to put it uh, up there or down there. I haven't decided yet in the blog post because I haven't written it yet. But anyways, it shows where people look at on a web page. And the whole point is that, well, you know, users are becoming more and more blind to banners. And if that's really the case, uh, why do people keep using banner advertising? How does it keep making all my blogger friends so much money that they can just sit at home all day? Uh, so, you know, uh, this led to a conversation I had today at lunch, and that's, well, what's a more effective banner? Is it one that stands out from the web page content? Or is it one that blends into the web page content? Because if you think about it, one that stands out, yeah, sure, you, you notice it a lot more, but if you're so banner blind, you're just going to ignore it anyway. And if it blends in, yeah, it just kind of falls into the backdrop. But, you know, maybe as a user, I'll be kind of fooled into looking over there. And, um, oh my god, maybe I won't realize what it is. Anyways, I'd, I'd like to hear what you think. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to go about it. I guess a lot depends on the content of your website and therefore what your user base looks like. But, uh, yeah, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about banner blindness. Uh, what kind of banner do you think works better? One that blends in, one that sticks out. Yeah, so this is Chris, searchanyway.com. Have a good Friday.